least common multiple using prime factorization? We're gonna find the least common multiple now using prime factorization. I just was showing the list method. This is the list method to find the prime factor is it, or to find the least common multiple of two numbers, nine and 12. The least common multiple is 36. And the list method with smaller numbers such as nine and 12 is, is pretty simple. But what happens when the numbers get larger? Well, there is an easier method so you're not listing these on forever. And that is using prime factorization. I'm gonna show that now to you guys. So, I'm gonna find the prime factorization of nine and 12. We already know the least common multiple is 36, but we're gonna use an easy example like this to show you the process of how to do it. So nine is a composite number. A composite number will have three or more factors and we're going to, and every composite number is made up of prime numbers, which only have two factors, one in itself. So here we go. Nine factors down to three times three. When they're prime, I circle them. So nine is three times three. That's his prime factorization. You could also write it as three squared. 12 factors down into three times four. Three is prime, so I'll circle it. And then four factors out into two and two. So the prime factorization of 12 is two times two times three, or two squared times three. Now I'll make the Venn diagram. So, nine is three times three, and 12 is two times two times three. There it is. All right, like two hours later, <laughs> sorry, someone came in and uh, was working on the room then I got to talking to people and, uh, do you ever get distracted? Yeah. So, where were we? <laughs> it's literally like a while later. Uh, uh, so we did the prime factorization, right? And now we see what do they have in common. So they both have a three. So I'm gonna circle that three and I'm gonna put it in the middle like this. And now, no other three. So this three that's not in common goes here. And then these twos go here, like this. So what's cool about the prime factorization method is you can find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple with, with all the work already done for you. So the greatest common factor is three. Whatever numbers are in the middle, you multiply them together, and that's the greatest common factor. In this case, it's three. To find the least common multiple, which is our goal for today, we're gonna to multiply all of these together to find the least common multiple. So we're gonna go three times three is nine, times two is 18, times two is 36. So the least common multiple of nine and 12 is 36. Again, how I did that was you go three times three times two times two. And you got it, that's the least common multiple. Hey, I'm gonna give you guys an example now to do. All right, so you can like pause the video. Let's, uh, let's explore 18 and 45. Find the least common multiple of 18 and 45. Now, could you imagine, now look at this guys, listing all these multiples. 18 times one is 18. 18 times two is 36. 18 times three, I don't know, I'd have to like do it out, but it would go on and on. 45 times one is 45. 45 times two is 90. 45 times three, you know. All right, so pause the video and do the prime factorization method. And we'll come back and check on it in like two hours or so. All right. And we're back, hopefully. <laughs> um, 18 factors out into uh, two and nine. Now you could also do like three and six. Any way you do it, you'll end up with the same prime factors. Five factors. Now we have the prime factorization of 18. So 18 is two times three times three. And 45, that factors out into uh, nine and five, five's prime, and then three times three. So 45 is three times three times five. And now we'll make our Venn diagram. Here's a challenge. Try to make it without lifting your pencil up. Just like that. So now we find what they have in common. A two, no, three? Yeah, they both have a three. So did you guys get the three that's in common there? And then another three? 
And then this five's not in common with any of the prime factors on 18. And this two's not in common here. So in this case, the greatest common factor, the GCF would be just multiplying the three times the three. That would be nine. So the greatest common factor is nine. And then the least common multiple, the least common multiple is two times three, which is six, times three, which is 18, times five, which is, oh no, I'll have to do it out. Uh, five times eight is 40, so 90. So the least common multiple is 90. Uh, so I guess it wouldn't have been so bad listing it. So again, how you found the least common multiple is you go two times three times three times five. And that's how you find the least common multiple using prime factorization. My name is Jason Jacobs. Hope this video helped you. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you later. Keep doing your math. Bye.